What is up everybody and welcome back to today's vlog. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about a snake that we have in our collection. Somebody recently on one of our past videos commented and said, hey, can you post an update on your IMG boa? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about that snake for those that don't know what exactly that snake is and do an update video. So about maybe six, seven months ago, maybe sometime in the summer, um, with the help of a friend, Bernie, um, I'll post his Instagram down below. And a lot of you guys know Bernie, um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys follow him on Instagram as well. So he found a snake that I was looking for and said, hey, this guy's selling a snake that you wanted. Do you want me to get it for you and ship it to you? And I said, yes. So that snake is a boa constrictor and it's called an IMG. So what IMG stands for is when you look at your skin tone or the skin tone in animals such as snakes and whatever it is, there's melanin. So melanin is what makes your skin darker. So if you look at your skin compared to the person sitting next to you, if their skin is darker than yours, they have more melanin in their skin. If their skin is lighter than yours, then you have more melanin in your skin. So IMG stands for increasing melanistic genes. So that means that increasing. So over time, this snake will increase the melanin inside or on its skin and in its scale. So that means that the snake is going to be born and as it ages, as it keeps shedding, the blackness, the melanin in its skin is going to keep getting darker and darker. So eventually you're going to have a snake as it ages that's going to end up going uh, a lot blacker than when it started or almost completely black. So uh, instead of just talking about it, let's get the snake out. I'll show you the current status and then I'm going to show you from when we got it and how much it had changed since then. All right, so the reason I figured I would do this video today is because he's been in shed and he literally just shed last night. So this is a fresh coat on this guy. So this is him now. So this is an increasing melanistic gene boa, IMG boa. So it has no other genes in it right now other than that. However, it is het for two other genes. So this snake already carries the IMG gene, which is an amazing gene in itself. And um, it seems to be just hitting like the market and just taking off like crazy. So everybody seems to be loving this. You can even see his belly's black. So he, like I said, he is carrying two other recessive genes um, beside the dominant IMG gene. So this is him now. Even his tail is getting like completely black. It's almost like just black and white. So his colors are pretty crazy. I absolutely love it. So I think he's maybe had like four sheds since I've had, I probably had about six or seven months. Maybe he's had four or five sheds, probably four sheds uh, since we've gotten him. And each one, it's getting like more insane. Like I can't get over how black this snake is turning. Uh, one of the genes that you'll always see mixed with IMG when you start looking is like hypo. There's tons of like hypo IMGs and I just don't love them because Hypo is trying to make the snake lighter and lighter, and then IMG is trying to make it darker and darker. So it's like two different genes doing opposite things. And so a lot of people are like, oh, I like that look. But I think it's basically they just have an, a Hypo IMG and they're just trying to talk themselves into it. But I just don't see the point in adding two genes that are doing the opposite things to one another. Uh, if, if I want to get an IMG, I want to increase the melanin. So on the, on the reverse, if you put albino with IMG, it's going to do almost the complete opposite where it's going to keep getting lighter. It's going to increase the white. So the white from the albi albinoism, albinism, albinism. So the white from the albinism is going to keep getting whiter and whiter and whiter. And you're eventually going to get like a super white looking albino snake. Um, so that's one time that I think albino or a light snake and IMG work really well together. But to me, I'm just not a fan of the hypo IMGs because they start to get darker, but they don't just they don't get all the way dark. So one gene that I do love mixed with this is Motley. So when you mix Motley and IMG, it like it's like IMG on steroids. Like it seems like it just amplifies the darkness. Um, so we do have a female uh, that we will breed with him eventually, and it's a Hypo Key West Motley. Um, so what I don't want to see is tons of Hypo IMGs, but I do want to see. Key West, and I want to see Motley passed on um, with the IMG. Like those are the two genes that I'd want to see with this, but not so much the Hypo. So any of the Hypo IMGs that come out of that clutch, those will probably be available for sale. But again, so here is a little side-by-side -side before we let this video end. And I want to show you a little side-by-side -side of when we got him. He might have been maybe three, four months old when we got him um, versus now. So we just filmed a little side-by-side. -side. So you're going to be able to see how much 
he has actually darkened up. You'll see it a lot in the tail. When he was first born, his tail looked a lot like just a regular, um, like a regular boa. It had the regular red in it, uh, the white and red saddles in the boa tail. So the tail has changed tremendously and also his belly and his whole top and all the pattern along the top is like going away. You almost are starting to lose the pattern completely on the top. So uh, this is by far, I think the coolest snake in the world. Um, so again, if you do have an IMG, and if you do like hypo IMGs, comment down below, but I just don't love them. And I think, I just don't see those two as two genes that I wanna be mixing. Um, I just I just don't like it, uh, it's just my thing. So comment down below if you love hypo IMGs and you think I'm dumb for even saying that. And comment down below and let me know what you think of the transformation in just about six months. I can't wait to see this in another six months. It's gonna be like solid black. And it gets so iridescent when you put it in like sunlight. It's like that like rainbow iridescent blackness. It's the coolest thing in the world. So uh, this guy is never going anywhere. He is our keeper. He's gonna be a breeder male and I have no plans to get rid of him anytime soon. So again, here comes the little side by side and thank you for tuning in to this vlog. I will try to get more out. Oh, and by the way, somebody asked about the shirts, the SFB shirts, we have them available at every size. So if you are rocking the beard, if you're just starting to grow the beard, if you've got like a ZZ top beard, whatever it is, go check out sfbeard.com. We got all kinds of beard products, apparel, clothing. We got apparel for girls. We've got little booty shorts. If you want to see your wife walking around the kitchen in the morning making coffee and little booty shorts, get her a pair of those as well. Uh, so again, sfbeard.com. I'll put all that in the description down below. And uh, so that's it. So peace out. I'm done rambling on. I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Peace out, everybody.